memories. Support our fight to protect yours. To those of you who have just come into the programme, let me introduce a very special guest that we have today. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Bahrain. Um, welcome to you and a big thank you for joining us. We've known each other for rather a long time now. Jackie, thanks for having me. It's a real honor to be here. And uh, it's a very worthy cause. Uh, and I'm very happy to participate. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's to do, of course, with Helen, who's got dementia. And uh, uh, Salman, you've known Helen from way before that time. And uh, right. It's a terrible illness that we are trying to find a cure for. And by the way, McLaren, of course, that you're deeply involved with, is helping us to do that. Because uh, in Formula One, we find faster problem solving than any other activity in the world. So you, you are deeply involved in that too. Well, whatever way that we can help, we would uh, certainly be honored. And uh, yes, it is, it is a very um, challenging um, condition, both for the person with it and I think for the family members around them. Also. Yeah, if we can find a way of uh, getting to the root of the problem, and as, you, I, as I understand, there are many different causes of it. So uh, it's not just one problem, it's fixing many. And Formula One, you're right, is good at that. No, oh, it is, it's the best. Um, talking about us, that way back time when uh, I'm sitting in the Concord in New York waiting to depart, everybody seems to have joined the ship, uh, or at least the, the aircraft, and then your good self arrives at that time uh, with your wife, and I thought, I wonder what he's doing at this, who is he? He's, there's been a big VIP thing here, getting him on board. I was sitting in 1A, and then I kept looking after to see where you were going and I then recognized you were in 11 A and B which rather disappointed me um, <laughs> and when you did walk in uh, I knew immediately that you had recognized me I didn't know you yes. but I didn't know you were an enthusiast of motorsport um, so I asked um, the, the part of the crew I said who, who came in a little bit late and they said it was someone from Bahrain. But they didn't mention who, they didn't want to, they were correct. It was British Airways, they would be correct. And, uh, and, they, and I thought, well, he's, he knows me. So I thought I should go back and see you. And I went back, it's a long way back from 1A to 11A and B. But then we started to chat. And of course, I found out your love of motorsport. Yes, well, I, I remember saying good luck. Uh, if memory serves, you were either launching Stuart Grand Prix that year or you had launched it and uh, the new season was about to start because I believe this was at the beginning of the year. I think it was, two, it was 1997 in uh, yeah. January uh, or, or maybe even February. And well, you were still was... kind and uh, I, had, I, was a, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't quite, no, I was not a student at the time, but I had just recently finished university. And I, was, uh, I had been in uh, New York on a private trip. And when I saw you, I was thrilled because, you know, Jackie, I've been a fan of Formula One for, well, ever since I was probably about eight years old. Uh, for as long as I can remember. Uh, probably from, you know, the, the, the instant gasoline was sort of part of my system. Formula One was always in my, uh, in my head. And I remember the battles you used to have with Emerson. Oh, yeah. Now, as a child, you might not like this, but as a child, the black and gold car looked a lot more interesting than the blue one. But as I, I can't remember that one. <laughs> as I grew older, I realized, um, you know, that it was, uh, as in all things, uh, that it's, it, it's all the characters, all the fight, all the champions, all the greatness that comes from sport comes from com competition. But anyway, I digress. And... Um, Saying good luck to you, seeing you there was a real thrill. Um, and for you to come back and talk to me, and we had a nice little chat, I remember, on the aircraft, and you gave me two little lapel pins, which I still keep. <laughs> well, I'm very happy about that. That's very nice. Well, it's strange how these things happen, and then friendships grow, because yes. not long after that, because you told me you had a great interest in motorsport, then... For some reason, you had invited me to come to Bahrain at some point. Yes. Uh, 
Well, your enthusiasm blossomed into something really special, and it really didn't take that long uh, for you to have a circuit, a Bahrain Formula One Grand Prix circuit. And I know you went to a few other people to suggest that that happened, and some of them were enthusiastic and some of them perhaps were not. Well, I would say that there are two people who are instrumental in us getting, well, let, let me rewind. When uh, I approached my father at the time, who had recently ascended the throne, and he was emir at the time, this is uh, in, I believe, 1999. And I said, uh, Father, I would really like to promote the sport uh, of motorsports. And I have a 10 year vision where we start by building a small circuit uh, for club racing. We then move to Formula Three after, say, five years or six years. And then eventually we move to, at the time, it would have been maybe F2 and F1. Uh, and he took a long look at me and he said, Son, why don't you go for the whole thing from day one? And I said, I mean, are you sure? And he said, yes, of course I'm sure. And I, you know, I'm telling you, go explore the possibility of doing it. So I think this is subsequent to us meeting on the plane. This is subsequent to your visit to Bahrain where we discussed motorsport and how we grow it. And after my father instructed me to do this, I came back to you and I came back to one more person, my, my dear, dear friend, Mansur Oja. And I remember him flying out. I called him, I had never met him. I called him and I, uh, he kindly flew out with a friend of his and we spent, I, I think it was supposed to be an hour meeting. I think- This, we, is, this is Mansur OJ. This is Mansur OJ. And we spent nine hours talking. Oh. Nine, no kidding. And wow. we went through the whole logistical stream. We got to know each other and we have been lifelong friends ever since. You then very kindly invited me to a race when we were seriously exploring this um, effort. And, and two races in particular for, for us were instrumental, Monza and Monte Carlo. Yeah. I think it was Monza, which was the first Formula One race I attended in, in that yeah. era. And you kindly invited me onto the pit wall. Monte Carlo was the race where I went and lobbied all the teams. And I have a funny, so many funny memories from that, that trip. <laughs> and we went back to Monza in, in, in the following year where I met Bernie and we sealed the deal. Yeah. And, uh, and in true Bernie tradition, it was literally a handshake. You know, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of investment and, uh, from everyone, from, from us, from the teams, from everybody flying over, from FOM, sealed on a handshake. And uh, we... We've, we've gone forward ever since. For those who don't know, this is Bernie Eccleston. Correct. Uh, and he is the, he's been the master of bringing Formula One to the very top of the world of, of sport in many respects. He did. And, you know, we were very proud for Bahrain to be the first country in the Middle East to seriously bring, bring a race because there have been many contenders and there have been many, I have, and as, as you will know, Many people had approached um, FOM at the time to ask to see if we could get a race or if they could get a race, but they had never followed through and Bahrain did. And now I'm so proud to see uh, two races in the region. We have the race here in uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain and we have the race in Abu Dhabi. And I believe there, are even, there is even more interest in the region for having more. So motorsport is, is, is blossoming. And, you know, I can, I can bring it down to that chance encounter on Concord. You, you know, I'm going to blame you for all the, uh, all the trouble you've caused, Jackie. Uh, one, one of the funny stories, though, is I, I remember taking the design to Michael Schumacher and mm -hmm. showing him. And between turn three and four, there were a couple of S's. And he looked at me and he said, Salman, why are those S's there? I said, well, it's to make it more interesting. He said, Salman, in a Formula One car, those are flat. Take them out. They're useless. You know, they, they don't mean anything. So we took them out. So, uh, yeah, I... Uh, I have so many fond memories of, of that process of designing, building, then the, the first moment when, uh, when the race started. I still remember that with, with great fondness. Well, it must have been a huge moment for you. I mean, I was there, obviously. And yes, I it was. was very, very proud to be We were very it. proud. And uh, I can't thank you know, my father for having the faith enough. I can't thank my father enough for having the faith in us. 
I can't thank everyone who's helped us along the way to, to, to make it happen. And um, with you and Mansoor and, and Bernie's support, it was... Because, I mean, it's a terrible thing for me to say, but I did not know where Bahrain was until I met up with your good self and motor racing became part of the world. And, <laughs> and, and, and really, Bahrain became part of the world of motorsport. And beyond that, you've, you've even grown to a higher level in the participation with McLaren. Correct. That um, must be one of the biggest things in, in most recent times. Well, I, I generally have found Formula One to have benefited the Kingdom of Bahrain in many ways. You know, every nation uh, has its challenges. And I find that the racing has genuinely more than anything, although there are some people who disagree, more than anything has brought people together. And what my concern was, was that if we were just remained as a promoter, and a promoter, a solely a promoter, uh, that satellite race in the middle of the Middle East, which was at that time the only race in the Middle East, might not be enough to secure the region's place or our place in the world of motorsport, certainly at the top echelons. And what better way to do that than to vertically integrate with a race team? Now, that route is fraught with danger. As you know, race teams have their fortunes. They go up, they go down. But McLaren was different. And it was different for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is, of course, I knew Mansour Ojek. The second reason is because we were at that time, or McLaren at that time, was, was seeking financing to launch its road car. So it becomes a totally different proposition when you're dealing with a race team, solely a race team, to a race team which is about to enter into very serious production of a global sports car. And we saw the opportunity. And in I think it is 14 short years we've created one of the finest road-going sports cars in the world. Well, as you know, I, I'm very proud of the relationship that we have with McLaren. You know, as I said, we're using the knowledge and experience and the problem solving in dementia for Helen and everyone in the world who has dementia because one in three people currently will die with dementia one in three Error. and there's more people going to die from dementia in the whole world that's more than any other illness more than cancer so we need to move things along quite quickly salman i thank you so much for participating you know memories are wonderful things to have they you are never, you never lose your memories and i've got so many and you've been a big part of those, and I'm very pleased that you agreed to participate on this. It's been a pleasure and an honor, Jackie. And uh, I, I look forward to creating many more memories.